And if I program this correctly, now do this. I I did wrong. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, uh, I can now do this. Oh wow, wow! High tech. Do you see that text, Raymond? Are you? <laughs> Very good. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, was it supposed to go away? No, it's... It's impacting the stream of the animation of the scene in the background. It's not supposed it to do that. I think that's a small bug. Whoops. Um, no. But yeah. I did those. I can like... Uh, I, can, I can remove it if I want to. Wow, it's gone, it's gone. I can uh, have this. Oh, stream is ending. Too bad. Very short stream. See you guys later. Bye bye. Just kidding. Stream is still starting. <laughs> um, uh, I also have a super basic sub notification. Very basic one. Oh. You might see that in action. Maybe. <laughs> it also uh, hopefully isn't super buggy. Here, oh, you've started your journey to become a professional streamer. Yes. Yes. Sub oh, notifications and everything. Um. And there's our comedy. Hello, Aquapot. What a, a number. TwitchCon 2018. Oh. oh. <laughs> and there's a sub. <laughs> oh. 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 Are you. Oh, are you, are you sure you subbed? <laughs> oh, is it, you, is it not working? Uh, uh, hold on, let me improvise. Oh. Um. Uh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, oh no, that's no, the wrong menu. Uh, oh, oh, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Doesn't really like look well with the uh, intermission text at the same time. Ryman is right. I'm definitely becoming a professional streamer now. Everything is working. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. Hmm. Well, I'll I'll look into that later. <laughs> okay. Um, um. Actually, when I was playing most of the, did I did I record a video when I fought Baroth? I, I'm I'm going to check that. Uh, one, two, one, two. Oh, I clearly lied. He didn't join in two seconds. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I did record a video of Baroth four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll try adding the game to this. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Episode 7 Berating the Baroth. Hello, Vic. Vic, hello. Um, is this audio volume okay? I test that easily. I don't know. Maybe I'll make the game visible now. We'll also start a uh, timer just casually because uh, I might not have permission to stream this. For too long? Oh yeah, what is that? Is that restriction like in total? Or is it just like per session or something? I think it's in total. I'm also not completely sure if I'm like, like allowed to talk about the specifics of it. Hmm, okay. Archimedes! Nice Hello. wave! Nice wave! Archimedes! Uh, With the bits! Hi. Hi. 
Hello. Hmm. I think Windows 10 sound settings suck a lot. Uh, yeah, they do. I don't know how to Especially after the, they changed them in a recent update. This, oh, they this... did? Yeah. Hmm? Like, the menu's all different now. Does this seem smooth in this room? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Kiko. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Kiko. Because uh, it looks uh, super jittery on my end, because, but that's because I locked it mm -hmm. to 60 with G-Sync off right now, which is not a good combination for my monitor, but I, well, like, right now my focus is to look, make it look, look good for the stream, not for myself. It looks smooth. Kiko! Yeah. <laughs> is it gonna work? <laughs> no! <laughs> Kiko! I'm supposed to have like a notification pop up, but it doesn't work for some reasons. I have to do it manually. Like this is supposed to happen. <laughs> oh hey, I just noticed Icewave is now the current bits leader with that uh, bits donation. I want to look at a little bit more spiffier than that, but that's the first version. I'm... Oh, it's also supposed to happen automatically. <sighs> yeah. Dreaming is so hard. That that is generally how some notifications are supposed to work. I should probably also like make it. Show the name of the person subbing, that's probably like a polite thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Or you could just scream the name yourself while the notification's happening. <laughs> yeah, I think people appreciate screaming all the time. It's like, pancakes, pancakes, Kiko, pancakes! I feel like I can increase volume there. So, Akumeni. Yes. Have you been? Busy. <laughs> Busy? Okay. But good. Right, and I've been taking a break from playing Monster Hunter on PS4 to get ready for PC. Yeah. But I don't want to burn out. Uh, yeah, I uh, I used one of those uh, ten discount codes I had to pre-order the game myself finally. Oh, good. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna start a mission real quick so just so I can test the volume. I'm curious to see what the load time is. I still see this as like the preparation phase for this. No problem, Kiko. Uh, oh, it's all already so good to see it at 60 FPS though. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, okay, okay. Um, okay, mate, you, you you played this game? Mm -hmm, a lot. Okay, so I go to optional. I've mm -hmm. never clicked on optional before. Why does it show these as completed. Okay, they might have been... Well, those are the quests that you've probably already done as part of the progression. Oh, is it? And then sh you can repeat them in optional. Oh, okay, that might be it. I don't recognize the names of them again. I'm five names. No, wait, no, no, no. These are the ones. Have, these are the story missions I've done. They have different names. Mm. I'm very confused. I'm confused too. Go to the three star again. Three star? An optional, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Hmm. They have different names, so I don't know. You haven't you haven't done those before? I've I've never clicked on optional before. I I've done the story missions. I've done these story missions. Hmm. Maybe it's just something weird going on with the early access. Is this the full game or is it just like a It's uh, it's um, it's a cool game. Okay. Mm. I don't know. It's I I don't think it's anything weird though. It's that's just how it works. I'm gonna stop my own stream. I don't watch my own stream. It's horrible. <laughs> so I guess there is one other small thing I'm curious about from a technical perspective. Did I increase volume? This sounds kind of quiet. Quiet? Hmm. Oh shit, did I hit my own cat? Oh no. So I'm just hearing <laughs> sounds. You can hit your own cat. I like well, some more? you can hit it but not damage it from the looks of things. Yeah, you don't damage it. Basically... I think this has always been the case in Monster Hunter, but basically the game has an attack reaction on all the time. It's <laughs> a good way to think <laughs> of it. Yep, including with all your friends that you play with. Yep. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Am I balanced compared to you guys? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. Should I? Hmm, maybe I should increase my own volume a little bit. Should I do that? Maybe a little. It's really hard. To... Vic, what do you think? Is it balanced? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He's he's nodding his head. He says it's okay. He's nodding. He can't speak. <laughs> I think he's he's shy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, okay, so okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave this as it is. Um, no one's too quiet? No one's too quiet? No I one think is you too guys quiet. are pretty equal. Hmm. I'll increase game volume even more. Fires. Is it slippery? Hmm? Is the slider slippery? It, it actually does feel slippery. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. It's slippery slider. Okay. But yes, I just have uh, another small technical question. What? So, um, previous MT Framework games, when you turn off the frame rate limits, it turns out they actually have, like, you know, a hard limit, like, for example, I think R RE6 was like 120 FPS, right? Yes. If you turned off the limits, and Dragon's Dogma was a bit higher than that, was like 150? Ah, uh, yes. I think, yeah, so Dragon's Dogma is the only m Trimmer game so far the without the West. 120 FPS cap. I don't suppose you've tested what the hard limit is for this. The... Uh... You know, I, I I don't know specifically about this, but it does just go beyond 120. I've had hun roughly 150, I think, during the character creator. It <laughs> showed 300 during a loading screen, but uh, I don't know if loading screens are weird. Yeah, loading screens can be a bit weird, I guess. Okay, the frame rate count doesn't show on screen, right? I don't, I don't see it on it. the stream. I think, I think that's fine. I'll just have it on for myself. I'm just curious if it ever. Have you talked to your piggy yet? <laughs> uh, yes. Piggy. Okay, I think everything's like good to go. So now, like, uh, see this as the end of the preparation phase. <laughs> I will export this to YouTube. That's a plan. Cool. Probably call this one. So, Aquababy. Mm hmm. Since you've played this game a lot, mm -hmm. do you have a preferred weapon type? Hammer and switch axe. Oh, good choices. Uh, hello, Akamete. Hello, Rana. Hello. Hello. Hi. Akamete, you got actual experience with this game, right? A lot, yeah. And Ryman, no experience. No experience. Zero. Well, experience. not with this specific entry in the series, no. Okay, I just want to start by uh, going through options. Okay. Mm -hmm. can change interface stuff. A lot of this stuff might be the same as the console versions, I have no idea. Display, mm. however. I don't good. think there is any... I don't remember any interface settings period on console. <laughs> I can actually oh. turn on volume after all music is kind of loud. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you say, Akumete, about the settings? I don't remember any interface settings on console at all. Okay, so I guess hmm, this might be new. You can change the uh, well, size of some fonts. Thing is, you can uh, change confirmation button from A to B if you want to. I might be wrong, actually. I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a good look at the piece of version. <laughs> Do you remember if it had resolution settings? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but yeah, uh, screen mode. I can change between windowed, uh, well, or less windowed, and, and full screen. The PS4 Pro version would have resolution settings. No, there's yeah, multiple really? options. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that could probably switch between like uh, 4K, 1080, and maybe higher FPS mode, stuff like that. I think the 1080 mode is the higher FPS mode. It supports a ton of resolutions, though, based on the testing I've done so far, it doesn't seem to have uh, support for other aspect ratios besides 16 by 9. Poop. That might be uh, fixed uh, with modding. Now, actually, before I go through two minimum settings, I'll go in game because a lot of these settings can be changed on the fly. Oh, that's nice. 
This is my character, by the way, cat, and my uh, cat called uh, Whiskers. Hmm. <laughs> so it's the journey of two cats. Yes, cat and cat. Are they crazy? So now no, we need to not too crazy. Are you sure? I mean, they're going after wits. monsters. Uh, sure, that's at least not. a little crazy. Okay, so options again. So, um, frame rate. You look to 30, 60, and no limit. No limit seems to be literally no limit. I, I've seen it go as high as like 150 during the character creator. I, I don't know what the actual limit would be, but it seems pretty high. Turn V-Sync on and off. And uh, I actually, guess hmm? if you wanted to test if there were limits, you could play at a like 720 resolution with it not capped, right? And then since you're playing on a G-Sync monitor, it could yeah. go pretty high. Uh, um, I want to briefly test everything at the very lowest, so so mm -hmm. I can test a frame rate at the same time when I do that. Cool. Hello, peers. Uh, I just want to very quickly point out this option: volume rendering quality, because this, like, this is the very first thing anyone should tweak when they uh, when they get the game on PC. So I have it set to off right now, which is what I prefer. Uh, I think the default setting, at least based on like consoles, would probably be higher highest. Let me turn that on. It basically adds this um, like atmospheric fog effect, but I feel like it also like like I don't know. I th think it worsens over overall image quality. Like even when I look forward to everything, it just some looks. It looks like you just added blue. like a blue filter to the whole. Yeah, like smoky and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Which it surprises me that that setting affects performance so much. Yeah. Yeah. It, it has a very very big effect. On uh, uh, on uh, on performance. When I was testing stuff early at my native resolution, I got, I think I get like roughly 75 average frame rate with it off, and then with it on, it drops down to roughly 60-ish. Mm. It has a pretty big performance. I do have one one small complaint about the the, the graphics options. What? Oh, specifically the wording. So the anisotropic filter setting, it doesn't use numbers. It just says low, medium, high. What, what, what does that correspond to? <laughs> uh, what option did you say again? Anisotropic filter. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, peers. Um, uh, back to volume running quality. It, I will point out that that um, the difference, the performance difference between low and high and highest is very, very high as well. So if you like the effect, I think I would just recommend setting it to low. So if you look at the side of the screen, like, the effect does change on the fly. I actually can't see a difference between low and highest. Mm. Like, when yeah. it's off, it's very obvious, but I mm. can't see a difference between the settings. It's also variable, which I, th I assume it means it'll vary the quality of the setting depending on the current frame rate. How many of the maps do you have access to right now? Just one? Uh, I have I have two, although I think one of them is only available during a story mission. Is it the Rotten Vale? Uh, I think the forest is what I can like. I have full access to as some kind of uh, desert area in the story mode. One. Oh, okay. Um, Wild Spire Waste. I, I think there's two different areas that you don't have access to right now that would probably have more obvious fog effects. Okay. I think. Yeah, hmm. maybe. Um. Yeah, I guess maybe that's where the difference would be really apparent. Mm -hmm. So, uh, going through some other settings, I'll, I'll just leave this off, I don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, so resolution scaling, this basically means that if you set it to mid or low, I'm, I'm not sure if this is really apparent in the stream, but anyway, low and mid, mid means it, it becomes upscaled from a lower, lower resolution. High means pixels are like that one-to-one -one ratio. It basically means the same as the, like, the display resolution. See, I take issue with the wording there, because normally if I was expecting a one-to-one -one ratio, I would say resolution scaling would then be off, not high. Yeah, I, I, I see a lot of games show a percentage here. I think that would be the best, best idea. Yeah. Uh, shadow quality, I haven't fiddled too much with. You can see some differences when I change this real time. The horizon. In the shadow. And uh, three different options with AA, off, temporal AA, and FX AA. 
So, I mean, I think this is very much an, an objective thing. This doesn't really have an impact on the performance. Like, FX save does a good job removing the uh, aliasing, but it gives the game a rather soft, blurry look. And uh, LOD bias I can't change on the fly. Uh, max LOD level. I think this basically forces every L LOD to be one step lower, which is kind of funny, I think. Hmm. Like, it's a very drastic uh, impact on the fly. <laughs> yeah, that looks really weird. I'm a little bit curious if I could mod the game and force that setting to be at the very lowest, so every single LD model looks at the very basic level. I think that would be funny. <laughs> Foliage sway, subsurface scattering, green space reflection, isotropic filtering. As Brian said earlier, it's a little bit weird. This just goes low, mid, high rather than numbers. Yeah, it's high eight times or sixteen times, <laughs> or is it lower? Water. Actually, you can kind of see a difference on the fly here. Like you can see the hmm. sunlight get reflected. And then Eight we have the next diffuse quality. I I don't know. I don't know what. Silent that Hill diffuse quality. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't turn it off. I don't want to do Silent Hill here. This is scary. <laughs> Dynamic range, this can be a 32-bit or 64-bit. I, I I don't fully know what this means. I don't know if this is more for like an HDR thing. It has to be an HDR thing. Am I doing a mistake of having this at 64-bit because I don't have an HDR monitor? Hmm. Yeah, okay, I don't know then. And mm. it's also uh, a sea depth information pre-pass you can turn on and off. I don't. I, I. I don't know what. I. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some uh, of these settings. I don't know. Yeah. I tried googling SH diffuse quality and I got nothing really useful. Is it diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis? Oh yeah, that. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking of that. Uh, oh. Are you a doctor? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I'm a very oh. good doctor. <laughs> doctor sex is reporting for duty. So Thank I imagine you. a lot of these other settings would be the same as the console versions, for instance audio, dynamic uh, range, hmm. just a casual side note, blue hole, add this to PUBG please, um, uh, and then... Uh, Come to think of it, there's still not that many games that have like an audio dynamic range setting. I'm, I've, I've seen it in quite a few games, for instance, I think just about all of EA games with, uh, with the Frostbite engine have the option, for instance. Yeah, I, cool. I mean... We try not to think about EA around here in these things. <laughs> uh, let's see... Although, now that you mention it, I think Mass Effect 3 was the first time I saw a dynamic range setting for audio. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what, what, what of these options are different from consoles. There's some obvious stuff here, like mouse uh, speed. I can show off um, keyboard and mouse controls a little bit. I'm curious about that. First of all, I'm just going to make sure I didn't mess up any of the graphic settings here. I have seen someone use a mouse to aim a bow gun, and it looks about as smooth as you'd expect. Mm. But yeah, I think this is all what I want it to be. But uh, first of all, you can you can interact with all menus with a mouse, like it, it behaves as you would expect. You can go to controls, keyboard settings, you can remap everything. I actually like the cursor. <laughs> Oh, you can actually remap stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's great. At least on keyboard and mouse. I think the default camera speed is way too low. It feels oddly sluggish. Hmm. Uh, that's definitely something I would increase, which I'm going to do. That right looks right very now. similar to, I think, the highest setting on the console. So, wait, I think it's... Wait. That one, that one, yeah, that one. Make it way higher. Okay, that's that's which one. That's a surprisingly large difference for just twenty-five points of sensitivity. Yeah, let's try sixty. And I guess all these settings are also relative to your mouse software settings. Yeah, probably. Sixty also mm. actually feels too high. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah. Oh. Large scale. Uh, is there a separate setting for when you're aiming? Yeah, vertical speed. Uh, well, I assume that's aiming. Oh, yeah. Has to be. 
Hmm. I don't know, like, it still feels kind of sluggish in a weird way. Like, for instance, I can start to... Uh, I, for instance, I'm not going to make a big movement and I stop moving and it still moved a little bit more. Like, it feels weird in that way. Hmm. But maybe it's something you can just get used to. Is there an acceleration option? Uh, invert them. Actually, hmm, I wonder if this could somehow inf impact mouse control similar so test. No, no, that doesn't impact mouse movement at all. I think that would be a very badly programmed game if it did. Although I have certainly seen games that where the, the pad settings do fit the mouse for silly reasons. Uh, I'll just go ahead and start the mission so I can like test actions and stuff. Maybe I'll mm -hmm. equip a bow so I can like I start uh, shooting with a bow with my... When you played Dragon's Dogma on PC finally after 17 years, did you play with mouse and keyboard at all? I very slightly briefly tried it, but I played with gamepads instead of what I preferred. If you remember that, does it feel similar? No, I don't... No, no, the, the, the camera movement was not like this in Dragon's Dogma. Okay. Lucas is asking what specs you're running. I am running uh, i7 4790 KCPU and GTX 1080. Uh, wait, wait, I just want to do the expedition thing. Wrong place. When I play uh, normally off stream, I go with uh, 14, uh, 14, uh, 1440 p with almost everything at highest, and I get the uh, average frame rate of around 75. Which is pretty good. Yes. Yeah, I, th I think it performs fine. I don't know if this is true because it's coming from IGN, but they were saying that the game, even if it doesn't reach super high frame rates that way with everything maxed out, it still keeps a really consistent frame rate. Have you found that to be true? Um, I will say that the uh, frame pacing feels very good. I, I don't think I've had any instances of like very sudden stutter. Mm -hmm. Good. So that's so, good, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I I would suspect that if you lock the frame rate, it, like like that should feel pretty smooth. Um, um, was going to do something specific right now. <laughs> the aiming. Yeah, I think you were going to test the aiming with the bow. Uh, draw one. The bow oh, is a ranged weapon. I haven't tried the bow yet, by the way. This is a very big bow. <laughs> yes, it is. Also, the thing with the bow is that the regular oh shots you have infinite ammo, but uh, you have special coatings that add different effects to the arrows, and th those are limited, and you have to craft those. Uh, can I get a reticle? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Not sure what I would press to get reticle. Right click isn't doing it? I can lock on the targets. Uh, no. Uh, right click is a separate attack, looks like. Or, hmm. Actually, no mm. way. I'm not sure if you could aim with the bow. I don't remember actually being able to do it in Monster Hunter Three. You get a you get a reticle in on console. Do you have a gamepad plugged in right now? Uh, yeah. Can you swap to that and just see what it looks like by comparison? Yeah. In the test, all time off quickly. Different. Okay, so uh, gamepad. So it's with gamepad, gamepad, it's left trigger to get the reticle to show up. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty really cool. It. Well, okay, so how do I do that on mouse? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's really weird it's not right mouse button, that feels very uh, typical. It's also weird that it's not showing up at the control thing at the top right when you have the weapon drawn out. <laughs> yeah, uh... Display aiming reticle, press once, C, hold V. Mm hmm? C and V? What? <laughs> That's something I would remap. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, at least while well, tapping it once, that doesn't seem too bad, but yeah. I, I would want that on right mouse button because that's kind of what's normal. Yeah. Uh, to reply to Lucas, 10. I, I think if you. With, with a 1060, first of all, I would highly recommend you turn volume running quality off. Like, that has a pretty big impact on frame rate, and I can actually look how. I think uh, I think I prefer how the game looks with it off anyway. Yeah, it just looks smoky when you have it on. I yeah. don't like that. Yeah. If, if, I mean, if you turn that off and play it like 
tonight. Yeah, I think I think you you get a pretty good frame rate. I wonder. I think low must be forced on PS4. Hmm. Is this the image oh. that you have right now with it off? Definitely looks less smoky than what I'm used to. So it must be forced on. Yeah, I would, I would, I would. Um, well, I would assume the settings on PS4 is probably very similar to high settings. Yeah, uh, Capcom did say that with the PC version they were aiming for console parity with the graphics. Hmm. But yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan. It, it makes everything in the distance look kind of foggy and blurry, especially when I move. I, although that might also be due to the temporal AA when I think about it. It just looks washed out to me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer it. This, uh, putting off. Oh yeah, it definitely looks blurry due to the AA. I prefer FX AA. I don't know. Anything to fiddle with. They don't hmm. date But at least there are lots of options to fiddle with. That's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, it, and, they, and this seems pretty scalable. Like, like the frame rate difference between having everything at highest and lowest is huge. Like the frame rate will more than double to go from highest to lowest. Hmm. I want to test melee weapon with mouse and keyboard. Use hammer. Hammer? Hammer. I've only Stop. tried sword and shield so far. There's only weapon up. Equip a hammer and then find a slope to slide down. <laughs> then you'll have a fun time. Okay. That's one of my favorite things to do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Bike pipe. <laughs> What? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, horn. yeah. Like the the starting hunting horn is a bagpipe. Yes. <laughs> okay. I haven't actually looked at this list of weapons yet. Don't you ever want to whack monsters with a bagpipe, like this? I guess I haven't really thought about it to be honest. Actually, that seems like an Adam thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Adam would do that. <laughs> Adam would definitely do that. So yeah. Hammers. Short range, but a lot of damage, and they can deal knockout damage if you hit monsters in the head. I like that They're when so I, uh, satisfying. I yes. when I sprint down slopes, the character will automatically like stumble a little bit and then start sliding. So, like that that slide, if you draw your weapon and hold that button, whatever you use to draw it with, while you're sliding, uh, control, hold control while you're going down a slope, and then let go. I'll uh, do the same. They've commanded me to do. Uh, as I recall, Kiko, uh, it does play. Time? The bagpipes do play music when you hit enemies. Yes. Um, you have to hold it a little bit longer to do the one I'm talking about. So okay. try holding it as you go down the hill. I don't know if I'm doing this one. Uh, you're you're just sliding and then you're tapping the button that you need to hold. Just hold that button the whole time you slide. I'm like... I'm wrong button. Hold on. <laughs> what button are you pressing to do the attack? I think I... Is, is, is this right? Oh, yeah, no, you were kitty. doing it right. Kitty! You were no. doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it right, but you need to let go before you stop sliding. Then you'll okay. Go. Just for the record, holding shift and... and... Uh, and... Uh, and control at the same time while moving, it's actually kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah, that, that sounds awkward, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um... Uh, what do I do now again? Uh, keep, keep holding that, go back up the hill and slide down while you're still doing that. <laughs> well, I'm and doing then, this. Yeah, just keep running around like that till you find the slope to slide down. And let go of the attack button as you get to the bottom of the slope. Oh, God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you'll do it, you'll do it eventually. I am. Uh, I am. Uh... Just okay. make sure you go to the top of the slope to start. And, yeah. Shall I find the biggest slope? No, this one. This one works. Yeah, okay. You just need to like, hold it and then let go before the slide stops. Okay, okay. There I did it. There I did it. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> okay, you could not do that in Monster Hunter 3. <laughs> okay, first impressions with keyboard controls, remapping, probably a good idea. Like, that is yeah. really yeah. hard to do because of shifting control being so close together. Plus also, the aiming reticle seems really awkward to me. Also, hello, Snips and Brandu. Hello. 
Hi, hi. But yeah, that's one of the perks of the hammer, is that even though it's usually slow to attack with, you can run with it drawn and do an attack that way, which is really nice. And you also get a lot of aerial attacks that way too, which is very cool, because you mount monsters that way too. There's uh, also a, a, a horizontal spin attack you can do if you just charge it normally. The one that he attacked his uh, cat with. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> okay, this and, one's... Hmm? And if you release the charge while just standing still, you'll do like this really big hit. Yeah, that's true too. There's uh, one thing I want to uh, show quickly. So when you play with gamepad, you can hold uh, uh, LB to get the radial menu. Mm -hmm. And you can use the D-pad to like cycle between different versions of the radial menu. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, the uh, we, when you use mouse and keyboard, if you go to um, let's see, click escape, customize radial menu. That's no, 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 wrong option. Uh, escape <laughs> and radial menu type. Change that to keyboard, and then that system changes entirely. I now press F1, F2, F4 to get uh, these menus, and then I press 1 to 8 to activate any of these options. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> you know how many times I've misused an item because I've done the directional stick in just slightly the wrong direction, and I'll use something <laughs> I don't mean to use. Like, it's so frustrating, but... Having to one by one scroll through your item menu with the controller, I hated that. So I just used the radial menu, even if I made mistakes. So yeah, this. So this will be much better. I wonder, actually, well, like, I, I guess playing with a gamepad. Actually, I think I think it would be fun to play with a gamepad and then just like casually press these keys to, to do, do this. I think that might I actually wonder, be okay. I wonder how well that radial menu would work in a Steam controller to track pads. Uh. By the way, by the way, how, how, uh, how does this make sense? Look at this. She polishes the handle. <laughs> well, you know, standardized animations and all that. Uh, Snips, I think you should be able to run the game walking on your machine, and with you for you. I don't think any of us would know how it performs on any kind of SLI system. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I. Uh... Like, a 970 is, is not that weak, right? No. Uh, mm -hmm. I would just say that first thing you should do when you get the game, just turn off volume running quality. That has a huge impact on, on yeah, the I performance. Yeah, I mean, we don't actually know if the game will even have SLI support at launch. Because, I mean... Uh, I I mean, I, I, NVIDIA has like advertised this game on their official GeForce website, so maybe there'll be a, a game-ready driver once this is officially out. Um, so I think that's it for keyboard controls. I don't, I don't think there's any kind of text chat in the game. So I, I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, you think the the advice for mouse and keyboard would be to map everything quickly when you first start, so you get used to it that way. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Like uh, based on the little, little, little I've played, like the aim button seems odd and. And like holding shift and control at the same time is basically impossible, so changing what, what control is will be better. Yeah. I think those are the two things I would instantly change to after playing so much on console. Those are very important things that you'll be pressing a lot, and that doesn't seem ideal. I, th I think all the other settings I have available, I think that might be identical, at least I assume they're identical to the console versions. This all look like thing which I would not expect to be different. Hmm. Hello, see, Felon. This is a review copy I got uh, sent to my YouTube channel from Capcom. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to the thing. I think I'm gonna show off my favorite part of the game so far. Okay. Is it? Is it uh, meal preparation? It might be. It might be also the first <laughs> video I uploaded. <laughs> Wait, have you uh, have you used the barbecue spit yet? Yes. Uh, um, is there a way to easily get meat? Which I can cook? So now we need to protect the scholars. Uh, uh, let's those those are all uh, dinosaur looking things, the optonauts, so that you can carve them for meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I should show that on there. <laughs> 
Yes, uh, Selectus gets early access because he's the Admiral of the Gaming Press. Yes, 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 that is, that is my target. What's the release date? First week the of August? 9th. That sounds right. Oh. Okay. Uh, what, what meal do you go with? I usually do Chef's Choice, but you don't have that available yet. By the way, should I pay with points or money? I have no idea. Uh, I initially paid only with points because I was so obsessive about collecting points. But like the second half of my my time playing the game, I always use money instead because I have an abundance of money. So it uh, it depends on what you need at the time, I guess. Because if you're gonna spend a lot of money on upgrades and stuff, you'll probably be out of money for a while at, at the beginning of your game. How do you get more Vegeta. points? This is a very point. good animation. Oh yes, yes. I, have, I have seen this. <laughs> uh, horrible... Horrible chefs though, like I ordered a veggie platter and they gave me fish. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, yeah. Um... Let's see, let's just... Um, oh yeah, yeah, I also need to show up and pick it. There might actually be more Palicos in this game than, than any other previous Monster Hunter game. <laughs> By the way, just a casual... Um, like, uh, a disclaimer. This is my first Monster Hunter game. I'm garbage. <laughs> I'm also very confused by everything. Like, I am... It's a very overwhelming game. Uh, yeah, there's hey, a lot of systems. This was my first real one too. A lot of systems to learn. So I'm, I'm, here earlier. I'm actually going to be curious when I finally get around to it, since my first was Monster Hunter 3, and I haven't really played any other entry in the series. So I'm curious about all these uh, promised quality of life tweaks that this entry supposedly brought to the table. Yeah, guys, you're where's the pig, guy. I think he's usually on the first floor. The third fleet's not going to help themselves, you know. <sighs> Maybe I have to give up on finding the Tege. You'll find it. It's not on the first floor. You can do it. I think he's got an icon on the map, too. Can I look at the map map and find it? I don't know if I'm going to pick it. I don't know. It was... Go towards the water on that floor, because it was over there earlier. I don't find the piggy. I can't find the piggy. No piggy. Piggy. Where is it? I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm giving up. I'm sorry. I'm I can't find the piggy. I don't want. No. <laughs> you have to find it. <laughs> I, I can't make this a two-hour stream of me just finding a piggy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> no, I'm going to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when you come out of your room, it'll be right in front of you. I like all the kitties in this game. Turning area? Can I try different weapons in the turning area? Oh, yes. yes! That was new for this game. Should I do that? If you want to try different weapons. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do that a bit later. Okay. You can also change your weapon out in the field if you go into a tent. So now yeah. Can protect the oh yeah, that's also new for this Let's game. At the wild spire. Oh, by the way, uh, I assume this is in the console versions too, but you can uh, go to... Um, uh, okay, I have to be on a title screen to do this, but there's a language option for, I think it's called Monster Hunter language, for the voice acting. Uh. Hmm? You haven't seen that documentary? Mm -mm. Okay, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll show that off then. Huh. Probably I like, don't... it's probably like the Lilat language in the Star Fox games. <laughs> It is on consoles. With you for you, says. Okay, so yeah, but I'll, I'll just turn it off for the video. Yeah, Monster Light Language. It's actually uh, dubbing in a lot of languages there. But anyway, Monster Language seems to be just a made up language. It sounds kind of Japanese Japanese ish to me. It's kind of funny. Oh, I didn't know that existed. Hmm. Let's search for an online session. 
Well, good luck. I found nothing. <laughs> oh. I have actually... I was able to briefly try out co-op earlier. I found someone streaming the PC version. I was able to join them for one uh, for one mission, and uh, the netcode seems completely fine. Oh my, you loaded into the main hub so fast. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Are you installed on an SSD? Yeah, this is SSD. <sighs> uh, but yeah, whenever there's voice acting, you should hear uh, this is a little bit of now. Oh, I'll unmute it. Poogle! You passed the Poogle! Oh, oh, you oh no, I'm sorry, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I'm oh. sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it gone again? That sounded German. German? Are you, no, go back, back, go back, go back. To your left. Oh, I heard it. Oh, oh Purgle! Purgy! <laughs> My favorite part of, about petting it is failing the pet. You're really good at that, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, why is it running away? Running away. How do you Max. succeed? You have to time it. It's like with uh, yeah. cooking. Huh. It's running away. It doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is your punishment for failure. Okay, fine. Screw you, piggy. Um, I'm going to look at chat for a second. Hello, Tommy. Uh, yes, I've been ignoring chat a little bit because I'm trying to do the game thing at the same time. I'm sorry. Um, uh, but yeah, we, we, we can talk later after the same thing. Right now, I'll focus on this monster thing. Um, is it Paris? Paris? I can do this whenever. Is there a cost of doing this? You can change like your hairstyle oh, and I, I think see. facial hair options, but you can't change your face. Okay. Uh, can you do that on consoles? I feel like was there like an event or some free item they gave you at one point to let you do that for a limited time? I think, but otherwise you can't. You don't. You can't change your face. You can only change your hairstyle and like minor stuff like that. The whole my room thing reminds me a lot of a feature they added to Dragon Song Online. You can change and upgrade that over time too. You're not stuck with the same room the entire time. Okay. Now, Sectus. What? You say you've really been enjoying the cats. But how are you dealing with the cat puns? Yeah. No, they're okay. Is that the only acceptable type of pun? Yeah, like like if the cat's in yeah, sure, I'll uh, I will uh, cope with it. Yeah, because your cat was just saying he feels like he's improved a lot recently. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little bit of. You could go out on an expedition and capture some wild animals to put into your room. Okay. Oh. Maybe you can teach me how to capture because I've tried that. Like I've. I've shot nets at many things, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> well, well I'm curious what you've tried to capture. Like, you should cut <laughs> the big things. It makes Cap sense. <laughs> Capturing monsters live in Monster Hunter is kind of like Pokemon. You have to weaken it first. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go with the weapon I'm used to using. Oh, you're talking about like capturing actual monsters that you hunt. That's that's something different. Like, I mean the like the little ti tiny wild animals that you can capture, like that thing that the bunnies that Sex just chased away. Oh. Okay. You can throw a caption net at those and take them home with you. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I guess that's new for this game then. Only you saw how your, before. your box turned red there briefly? That's when you were actually aiming at it. Oh, so you okay, have to okay. sneak up, sneak up and catch them that way. I'm sneaky. Yeah. If you were trying to throw that capture net at like a great Jagras or something, that that doesn't work. <laughs> Hold on, no, I'm being sneaky. Not... I'm gonna capture one of these, one of these dinosaurs. Oh, uh, the Aptonoths. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted more meat, you'd kill them and carve them. Okay, not becoming red. Not becoming red. I guess I can't. Oh, I I can hurt it. I can I can kill it like this. Yes. You do two damage for per throw. Are you gonna kill it that way? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, committed murder. Am I getting meat? Oh, hey, you're completing you a bounty. You should get meat. Yeah, you got raw meat. Now you just need to cook it. Hello, she's in. Unfortunately, I, I was not able to get that PC up and running correctly. It just it, it keeps crashing constantly. But oh. I wasn't able to do that test. That's unfortunate. Let's try um barbecue. 
That's way too early. That's way too early. Really. Way too early. Rarest. Rare is pretty good though. Yum. Better than burnt. Okay, I think that was okay. I've I've seen a best animation, I think. I think that's the best. Or it is. Well okay. done steak. Yeah, well done steak. That's okay. the best one. Yeah, there's only three steaks. There's rare, well done, and burnt. Okay, well, well, I've I have mastered Monster Hunter World. <laughs> Your cat's really happy too. Uh, yes, Tommy. I did. I did. I did. Uh, I replied to that uh, earlier, but I, but I can. I can. I can contact you after stream, and then we can discuss uh, things and plan things. Um, uh, um, 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 um. There's one thing I really want to test out. I'm just not sure when I should do it. I'm, I think it would be fun to just turn all the settings to lowest, just to see how the game looks like. Should I do that now? Sure. Okay. 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 That's it now. That's it now. That's it now. Um. <laughs> With you for you says the game looks better on than it did on the 3DS on lowest settings. <laughs> Funny that. What resolution did you say didn't work? 320 by 244 or something? Uh, yeah. Doesn't support that. So you you can't output it to, to 240p to a CRT, so I'm, I'm afraid. Make sure you I put will... that in your review. I will see that as a challenge. I'm gonna try to make this look worse in the 3DS version. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But Sectors, there's already YouTube channels dedicated to that. Uh, I can't even remember how many hours I put into the PS4 version now. Is it? Something like 600, maybe? Or maybe more. I don't know. I'll go turn it on really quick and check. I'll be right back. Okay. So when you go to the uh, lowest preset, that's actually not the lowest settings. Like, some settings can be turned even lower. Mm -hmm. uh, all the way. All the way down. Everything. And then... Then, lowest resolution, too. just for like. Okay. Shall I lower a frame rate too? Or is that too painful? Oh, that's clearly too painful. Oh, you should use the opportunity to test how high it goes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No limits. Okay, so whenever you change uh, resolution, you also have to restart the game. I think all of the settings oh. you can do on the fly, though. Uh, Jason, I think it's definitely viable to play the game with the keyboard and mouse, but you might want to remap some of the controls. For instance, uh, to aim with bow, like the default is to either tap C or hold V, and I found that to be a little bit awkward. That's just silly. Okay, booting up. It's a good sign when I can only barely read the text. It's a good <laughs> sign. Oh, why doesn't it fill the entire screen? Um, because it's um, it's uh, letterboxed right now, so it's showing the letterboxing on uh, on the stream. Oh, I'm not sure if I can easily fix that. <laughs> Uh, what is really good with this text? Yeah. <laughs> What's the yeah, 16x9 variant of 480p? <laughs> oh, it's like a weird number. It's like 854 by 480. Ah, I'll screw it. I'll just, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just go like this. Oh, whoops! I'm gonna change. Uh, there. I can read that text just fine. Uh, 414 hours, by the way. And also, there's only three graphics settings on PS4, and two of them, one of them is brightness. The other two are limited to PS4 Pro. It's HDR output and 
uh, one op resolution option that says prioritize resolution, but I can't see what the other option is because I can't okay. can't select it. Uh, you can actually do HDR on a base PS4. It's probably just greater because you don't have an HDR display connected. Uh, it said, it said because I don't have a PS4 Pro. Ah, oh, that's weird. But it might be wrong. But that's what it it gave me the Hello, same error message as the other. Ah, uh, it's left all useful hotkeys in the game. Well, when I press it, it doesn't do anything. I don't. I don't think all this map to anything by default. If you if you're asking about the radial menu system, I don't know if you were here when I showed that off earlier. That is a very different, different system on uh, mouse and keyboard. Just press the function keys to make this appear. Then you press press uh, one to eight to interact with thingies. And this is really bad to show off right now with the uh, resolution. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Right, you thought Dead Rising text was hard to read in a SD TV? You see nothing. <laughs> I film. Does this look worse than 3DS? I'm not sure. It's not actually better than 3DS. I mean, it might have failed. Hmm. I'm yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Uh, apart from the text being hard to read and it being very jaggy, it actually looks alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the low uh, the low resolution actually like hides the uh, low detail. <laughs> mm. The frame rate right now is 100. I kind of expected it would go up by more. I saw it. I think I saw it at 135 in another area earlier. The release of Monster Hunter World on PC could be a, a momentous occasion for me because it might be the one game that might break my Warframe addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I might want to go back to the uh, normal settings again now. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but yeah, this is everything at uh, at lowest. What if I like boot straight up and die? And I get a frame rate of 133. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You... Hmm. Maybe it's a CPU limitation because you're also streaming the game? Maybe. I have no idea if this game is like CPU limited or GPU limited. There's some murmuring that seems to suggest it is a little bit. But hey, it's already oh. easy yet. Said 200 frame rate on that menu. Oh! <laughs> oh, I cannot believe how fast you get back to the hub. Let's just casually randomly try like 30 FPS per second. Whoa. <clears throat> Why? No! Don't do it to me! Oh wow, that's a lower frame rate. Now that's the version I know and love. <laughs> yeah, with these graphics and everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like PS4 right now. <laughs> okay, let's actually uh, fix it. <laughs> oh boy. Although, the thing, the weird thing about Monster Hunter on consoles is that the frame rate is only like close to 30, but based on testing from like Digital Foundry and other places like that, like it's not actually locked at 30, like it's, like it seems to hover like between 30 and 40 frames per second. Oh god, god. I think this is my native, native resolution. <laughs> it's it looks like it. I think so, it does look like 2560 by 1440, yeah. It kind of looks like 2560 by 440, which would be interesting. It would be very interesting, yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Game is loading now. So, what should I test up next? Um, I'm not sure actually. Um, I just realized Yagza yeah, Zero is coming out on PC in less than a week. Oh, yeah. That's that's a surreal thought. I never thought it would happen. So many games in August. Yeah. 
What's coming out on PC in a week? Oh, this? Uh, no, Yakuza Zero. Oh. I want to quickly turn off focusing. And I super, super agree with that with you. I want to play as a cat. I want to play as a cat. <laughs> Isn't that in Generations? Or was that a different game that you can play as the cat? Oh my, I just realized. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for Switch. That's also coming out in August. Well, that's that soon. Well, yeah, I believe it is. Let me just double check the date. No, that's the Thedius game, Google. You're not helping. No, oh, I was actually supposed to change to 1080p. So I'm more likely to maintain 6fs all the time. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I think I think it will do that. Sorry for all the intermissions, but uh, <laughs> the frame rate goes way down whenever I stream. But uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, the Switch game, August 28th. Madness. Hmm. But you can't change the resolution on the fly. No, when you change change resolution, you must reset the game. And I want to see my 1080p, so I maintain 60 all the time. I'm not sure if you can think of anything else which would be worthy to uh, test as, as, as comparison with the uh, console versions. I'm trying to think of anything right now. Did the PS4 version have kitties? Have kitties? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Mm. Uh, that's what I'm playing with. Uh, oh, you, the intro cutscenes. Oh, yeah, 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 I can, um, I can test that uh, quickly. Uh, also, yes, there is a resolution scaling option. Uh, yeah, although it does cap out uh, at uh, at one to one pixel ratio, basically 100% uh, resolution scale. That's the high setting, and if you go lower than that, then it then the game is upscaled. Uh, so gallery, I can watch cutscenes. I think this cutscene as well. Yep, that's cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's really fun that they have <laughs> dubbed the entire game in this language, this made up language. It does sound Japanese ish to me, but that's probably just because they use Japanese actors. Hmm. By the way, when you play the game on a PS4 Pro, can you play at 60 FPS? Is it like a smooth 60? No. Okay. <laughs> like, I think it's like... It, it might get above 40 on the oh. frame rate mode. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, so even playing the PS version at 60, that would be a lot smoother than any version on PS4. Yeah, mm -hmm. or Xbox One X for that matter. Oh yeah, I forgot about the game being on Xbox too. I forgot yeah. that too. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is a pretty cool kid. They're all pretty good. They even have a cute name, Palicos. Kid is a better name. <laughs> this is a real name. It sounds very drunk. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just imagining that the voice actor was so drunk that he, like, he's, he's trying to speak English, but this is the result. <laughs> 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 
This is very novel, but I, I think I would switch back to English. <laughs> and then character creation kicks in. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they'll do the all the crossover things that they've done on console or PC. Mm, well, obviously they won't do the Horizon one. Because that was a PS4 only game, right? Yeah. Maybe they'll do Ryu and Sakura. They better do the Don't May Cry one, I swear to God. <laughs> so now we need to protect the scholars. Let's read. You hope she survived reading list. the book, film? <laughs> I can I can confirm that the characters in that cutscene are alive as of right now or in the Zerline, which is super or dead. What? They could be dead. Oh, am Have I... you seen them all? Well, the ones talking in the cutscenes anyway. Hmm. Like the drunk guy and the uh, and the lady standing there. Actually, it was hmm. none of the uh, book reading lady talk at all. I actually don't remember her. I don't know. Oh, I was, I was gonna try to capture those bunnies. By this game, they all run away. So I can't capture these biggish enemies. Not those, no. Most of the oh. things you capture with the caption are pretty small. And footprints of the great jaguar. <laughs> sure, that's how you pronounce it. Hmm. So, apparently, there's four games coming out on the ninth, according to Wikipedia. Apparently, there's a Professor Layton game, Okami HD for the Switch. And I guess this is including stuff that's only coming out in Japan, uh, the PS4 remaster of Yakuza 3. Ooh. Maybe I can capture these. Yeah, you can. You do it. Just be sneaky. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Be sneaky. Yes, I'm starting to get pretty close. Shit. I got it. You did. Revulture. <laughs> so it's revolting? Is that what it's saying? <laughs> I think so. Hmm. Should I try fighting one of the big beasts here? The Jaggy? Mm -hmm. Or the Pookie? Pookie Pookie? Um, I'm gonna just for the heck of it fire off SOS flare. Just in I'll case, there's another reviewer somewhere who <laughs> randomly wants to join us as players. Okay, I have to go in like two minutes. Okay. Ow. Well, you won't see me beat any big monster then, because that'll take at least two hours. I think you can do it. Speed run. <laughs> Kill it with the capture. Uh, well, yes, uh, yes, I did. Buy with the discount. I think this is a dragon. Yeah. I guess you can call it that if you want. And all his babies are up on the cliff. I have been able to ah climb onto enemies once or twice. I have like a big jump move and sometimes I land on the enemy when I do that. That's so much fun when that happens. Yeah, that I think yeah, I think too. I think I remember how it works now. I think like you have to leap off a ledge and you have to do an air attack and the attack has to connect. And then you latch onto the enemy, I think that's how it works. So it's this not, attack? it's, it's oh. not for sure. Like, it's, there's a chance that you'll latch on. You don't always. Oh. What are latch on? And then there, there's also a kind of like a cooldown timing window. You, there you I go. think you can't, you can't mount it immediately after you've already mounted it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, that mechanic was introduced in the before my experience with that game was very brief. It's kind of similar to climbing on Dragon Slugma, you can attack or you can like hold on to the main stable. But you don't have free movement on the base like Dragon Slugma. Yeah. But you can move on it. But... Yeah, it, 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 you like jump between various set points, it's not free movement yeah. like Dragon Slugma. Yeah. 
Hmm, in Monster Hunter 4 there was like a meter in the middle of the screen that told you when you had to brace yourself. It, it highlights it at the top right. Mm -hmm. I got like huge button prompts one of the first times I come onto base, but I guess that's a tutorial. I mean, a tutorial thing? Yeah, it's just a tutorial thing. You might get it per weapon, but that only happens once per weapon at most, I think. But yeah, see, like that move you did right there, you could mount it that way, but since you already mounted it recently, you can't do it again. Um, I need to turn this to this. Then this little lizard, this being a little bitch. <laughs> the combat is something I need to get uh, used to. It feels a little bit similar to Dragon's Dogma, but not quite the same. <laughs> yeah, That's it's how I thought too. It's, it's different. <laughs> Like, I think you There's have to be. There's a really good amount of variation between weapon types, so that's been nice. Yeah, you, you do have to be like more mindful of your positioning because you can't like adjust as freely mm -hmm. when you're locked in an attack animation. The whole attack reaction always being on was a major issue for me back in Monster Three because my preferred weapon was the longsword, and it's very hard to not accidentally hit your teammates with that. Oh really? Yeah. So, so that's something you have to be aware of. Yeah. That can be a problem with like hammer or great sword, especially if you're fighting a smaller enemy and you're all you all need to be really close. Oh. Yeah. I did play Corp once earlier today with someone and uh like I didn't care if I was close to my teammate when I was attacking, so hopefully I didn't <laughs> hit him many times. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just I, I just assumed there was no friendly fire in this. Well, you don't do yeah. damage, it's literally just attack reaction. Yeah. But it, really it, it, it will cause... interrupt their attacks, though, so it is... Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you have a nice, long, slow chain going on, your your friend can just, like, knock you out of it with one little tap. Yeah, like, if you're playing with someone that was using, like, the greatsword, for example, and you kept interrupting their combos, they would really hate you. <laughs> but there is also... There's perks to that, too. Like, if, if your friend is stunned, you can knock them out of it. Or oh, yeah. you can launch them up into the air with some weapon types, and they can do an aerial attack that way. That is true. So there's there's good parts to it too, but yeah, it can just be really annoying at the same oh, time. There's also you can equip jewels to armor, and there's a jewel type that negates knockback like that if you wear enough of them. So you can get around it too. Wait, did someone just join your session? Yeah, they joined my session. They don't in my game yet, but uh, it would be fun if they're actually like gonna respond to my SOS player and fight with me. That'd be fun. <laughs> I was gonna say that one thing I uh, like in the game is that there's animations for like uh, drinking potions and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's I always wish, I wish more thing. games had that. Although it was more restrictive in the older games because uh, you were when you drank a potion you were literally locked on the spot, like you couldn't move at all. Whereas I think you can at least like jog a little bit whilst drinking a potion in this game. Yeah, you move at a really slow speed if you just normally move while you're drinking, but you can also sprint with stamina while you're drinking to speed it up a little bit. Oh really? Don't, don't yeah. I've tried that. Oh yeah. But yeah, in the older games you had to really be careful when you drank a potion because you were completely locked on the spot. Yep. The one thing which I found uh, surprising is that the structure and the gameplay of this reminds me a lot of Vindictus. Huh. I never played that. Okay, I gotta go now. Oh, okay. okay. Good luck killing Jaggy. Bye bye, Arkhamite. Bye bye. Bye. Now, another thing to bear in mind, Mr. Sickness, is uh. So, perhaps you've noticed how, like, uh, when you're looking at, like, the, 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 the map, and you notice that, like, the sections of the map are, like, sectioned off. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I know that in the previous games, the, the uh, sections between those regions were loading screens, right? Yep. But now it's just one big open world, one big uh, level. Yep. I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> is is this the first game where you don't have to load? Yep. Okay. That was one of the big new things they were saying about this one. Just makes it feel a whole lot more seamless. Yeah, this is my first Monster Hunter, so I have no idea what's new or same or what. what. 
Exactly. I'm looking forward to trying this in co-op because one thing I've felt so far is that... Well, I mean, it might also be because I'm just part of the game, but fighting these things take a long time. Uh, I don't think you bear in mind, is that you're supposed to learn, like, starting weapons. I like, did, I did buy and, up, and upgrade my my weapons once, so not, uh, not literally starting stuff. Okay, I think I killed it. That was at least a lot faster than the first time I killed it, and that was a very long fight. <laughs> okay, there you go. I have committed murder. Yeah, so like, if you were trying to like, yeah, capture that thing alive instead, like, you'd have to keep out for signs of weakness, like blood and scars on its body, like it, uh, like monsters drool when they're hungry, and they start panting when they're tired. Maybe I'll go to the uh, training room thing and test the other weapons. Yes, that could be interesting. I've only played with uh, sword and shield so far. Oh, also uh, the whetstone, the thing you used to sharpen your weapon. That's infinite yeah. use in this game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so, were yeah. they were finite use items in the older games. Okay. You had to you had to farm for them if you ran low, but you usually got more than enough, so you didn't really need to farm for them that much. I noticed the durability goes down pretty fast, but I assume that's uh, how the game works. Uh, yeah, with the starting weapons, the durability does tend to run out rather quickly. But as you get further into the game and upgrade your weapons, there are durability levels higher than green. So, yeah. Also, I think with higher durability levels, your weapon just does more damage. Malik, this is not an emulator. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, this is uh, the PC version which gets released in uh, two weeks. I was able to get the review code from uh, Capcom. See, those crafty bastards at Capcom, they knew what they were doing. They gave you access to the game so that I would pre-order it. That's, that was their master plan all along. <laughs> yes. So like when they talk the to stockholders, Let's they all talk about with the wildfire waste. Like, 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 guys, don't panic, don't panic. We're trying to find a way to get Ryman to buy the game, specifically Ryman. That's all we need. I mean, Sega definitely had that a conversation with Yakuza Zero because I mean, come on, yeah. August first. <laughs> um. Also, yes, Malik, this is empty framework engine. Yeah. And oh, apparently someone in the chat joined you in a hunt once with triceps. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, um, the triceps, uh, that's a guy I was watching earlier and I tested out to co-op with him. Oh, cool. That's a guy in my session right now, but he's just in headquarters. I will say mm. that the system for joining people in in uh, hunts a little bit confusing, but I'll probably get used to it uh, with how it works. I think I have heard a few complaints about how the online works in this game. I'm also a little bit uncertain about the story missions. I can't tell if many of them are single player only or if you can start them in a party that I don't I don't know. I was under the impression that that one of the new features for this game is that you could do the, all the story missions in co-op. So now we need to protect the scholars. Whereas in the older games a lot of the story missions were single player only. Ah, uh, it's a training room again. Oh, there's there's many cats, Malik. There's many cats. Oh no. yeah, there's you get to design your cat. Like, I, I made this kitty right here. Like, first you make your own character, and then you make your kitty companion. Yeah, your kitty is basically your pawn. Yeah. <laughs> you can, like, make armor for them. Oh, although... I need, I need, I need to tell you about something, Sectus. I have some bad news. Oh, no. Uh, if you're playing in a full four-player squad, there are no kitties. <gasps> Real players take the place of cats. I'm gonna come back to scene for a refund right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wanna... I also start talking about the kitties. I wanna go to the uh, 
crafting thing. So now we need to protect the scholars. Uh, we need to look Let's at the kitty fashion. At the wildfire waste. Of course. My kitty is called uh, Whiskers Mac Kitty. And my main character is called Cat. You know, I'd have laughed if you called your character Cat Whiskers. <laughs> that would lead to a very awkward conversation with Cat Whiskers. Yes, it would. That's why it would be hilarious. <laughs> Ah, yeah, this is this is the upgrade station, right? Yeah, so I can go to uh, kitty equipment. So here I can uh, preview different sets for the kitty. Another new feature for this game. There was not a lot of previewing <laughs> in the old games. There was a lot of wiki reading. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay. that this uh, outfit gives a moustache to the kitty. <laughs> It's the Prince of Persia! It kinda is. Also, the Jagras one I think you were looking at earlier, he looks like he's covered in bananas. I mean, he's probably not. It's probably good. It's probably because that's what Yeah, Jagras I think this was like the really weird feathers or something. I don't know. Yeah. Bananas would be better. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. I think like this and the uh, moustache one the best. And I can do the same with uh, stuff for my own character. I can preview. Preview stuffs. So in the older games, the way the armor set bonuses worked, uh, you really had to use like all pieces from the same set, but I think this game is a bit more free with allowing you to mix and match pieces. Like, there's not as much of a setback. Okay, maybe now I'll find the training room. Koi Goon has poses a quest. Can I join that? Probably, yeah. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I might have to go to the notice board. Yeah. That's that's how it worked in the old game, so I would be surprised. If if if, if I can join this guy, I, I can do that so I can show up co op. Coop. So what uh, does he wanna do? No, no. It's either limited to one player, or he's set it to one player himself. Huh. Oh yeah, members one out of one. Uh, Mr. Doug, this is a review copy I got sent from uh, from Capcom for my YouTube channel. Okay. Where was the training thing again? <laughs> oh yeah, where was that menu? Here it is. Place my oh. pets? <gasps> Oh yeah, you caught a bird! So you, you can place it. Can I tell my kitty to hunt a bird? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea if Archimedes would have known, but oh well. Uh, yeah, that was tested. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I have been playing with it off because I don't I don't I don't I don't even like the effect. I think it's especially weird in indoors areas like this. Like it just oh, makes yeah. it look very foggy. It doesn't doesn't make sense. It's like someone's been smoking too much in there. <laughs> cough cough. Euster. Uh... <laughs> so the, you uh. said the training area is not in previous games. Nope. Oh yeah, I get, I get like uh, like uh, combo previews and stuffs and everything here. Ah, now what weapon will you try first? That's right, it's sword and shield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Moss Hunter World was the first entry to feature this training area. 
Okay, uh, how I change weapon? Good question. Maybe the red box? Yes, I have some water. Okay, Ryman, you choose. What do I test? Um, uh, um. And to reply to Mr. Doug, I am super new to Monster Hunter. This is my first Monster Hunter period. And and all the settings right now with the graphics settings, everything is highest except for the um, the fog thing, which I turned off. Oh, you could try my favorite weapon, the longsword. That's about like building up combos to uh, build up a super meter. Uh, is that the uh, Buster Sword? I don't think so. That's the Great Sword, I think. I think it's the second one on the top row. Oh, oh the the katana. Yeah, that sounds right. This is so it. It's a really big katana. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I don't think katanas are this big in real life. But yeah, like I was saying. So the 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 gameplay style of this weapon is that you need to land successive hits to build up a meter, and then you can press a button to unleash that meter. Spirit gauge. Yeah, the spirit gauge. I'm not sure if I can like build up meter here. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I see you're it. building it up. Yeah, I see it. It's it's below my uh, below my durability. So yeah, when the the meter is filled up, if you unleash a spirit gauge combo and the last hit connects. The meter becomes stronger as does your weapon. Did I do that there? Yeah, it's glowing a different color now. And you can do it multiple times, there's multiple different levels you can charge up. There's also like specific dodge moves you can do with the longsword that have invulnerability frames. I can't quite remember how you do it. Oh yeah, fade slash. I think that's, that's the oh, 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 oh no! Oh. oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! Did it I crash? Hit the, I hit the barrel so hard the game crashed. Oh no! It was a fancy move at least. Um, Dear Capcom, it crashed again. You should maybe fix this. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder. I might. I might try that again just to see if that's a uh, if that's a way to reproduce the bug. If that's the case, I think Capcom would be very interested to to know that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, hush, film. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Um. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. This this is two weeks before the game is released. I don't know if they they have a like zero day patch in the works that might might be possible. Yeah, it's a modern AAA release. They probably do. But yeah, I'm I'm just gonna try to do that exact exact same thing again. Just to see if it's so a reliable to way to cause a crash. Let's Ooh, picky. The I wonder if this is a side effect of this being this team's first PC game. That's too early. Too early. Now the piggy is mild. It's mild. I think you can you can change the colors of this piggy. You can cut it around. You can, you can give it a name. Actually, that's a good question. Do we know what DRM this yeah. is? Yeah. It's is on it? the it's listed on the sword page. Yeah. Yeah. I heard in the news lately that apparently the the police arrested someone who was cracking Genovo games specifically. Oh yeah, I read that. And well, I, also I don't know if they've rested uh, and they shut down his sites though. Also read that Nintendo's become really, really aggressive against like ROM sites recently, try to mm. sue the uh, the owners of them. Yeah. Ah da, 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 da. Katana Okay. I'll just 
try to do the exact same thing again. I'll build up meter uh, by not hitting that thing. Weapon designed for cutting attacks. Gather your spirit to increase its power. Uh, one thing I didn't show up early with the sun shield is that uh, it's really satisfying to block with the shield. Like I like that you get knocked back every single time. That's also thing that reminds me a lot of the Vindictus. Hmm. Um, yeah. You can also bash with the shield, and that does knock out damage. I need to hit there. I don't know if I can do the full like paid slash combo without making the weapon glow first. The yeah, the meter needs to be full before you can do the full combo, or at least close to full. Okay, so I can like lock onto a target, but it doesn't make me automatically aim at it. Hmm. Okay, now you should be able to do the full uh, just hit this thing? spirit combo. It seems easy to hit. Okay. Yeah, it's well, going uh, quite now. More red gauge thingy. And now. It is time. I think I just attack one of these random barrels. Let's go with this one. Okay. Oh. What a crash. Mm. Probably just be a random thing. Uh uh, hello, can she? I have no idea. Like, is there a way for me to check, like, check any content in the game to see if it's in the um, in a specific patch compared to the console version? Because I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't know either. Let's try another weapon. Yes, let's. There's a lot of them. Yeah, maybe I'll just go go through all of them. Buster sword is that like the default weapon for this game? That should be the great sword. The great and sword as you will discover, it's, it's slow. Leave you wide open. This what weapon is very t timing based. Like you have to pay attention to when your character glows to like release the attack button, because this is it's a, it's a charge weapon basically. Oh, huh. yeah, I, I'm not sure when I should be. Is it, is it about like timing of pressure? Do have to hold them as well? You have to, well, you hold the button and you release it. Uh, oh, I see, I see. But there's multiple oh. levels of glows, and you want to wait for the last glow. Like there's, I think there's three glows. Oh, it's like the gauntlets for Dante. Kinda. <laughs> so slow with this. Yep. The the thing with the great sword is that there's a lot of like uh, when you want to move, you have to like put the weapon away and then draw it back out again when you want to attack. It can deal a lot of damage when you know how to use it, but it's tricky to use. Well, I, I definitely know what people uh, mean when they say like the combat in this game, it has a lot of animation priority. Mm-hmm. And definitely see how it would be really difficult to like, uh, aim at things when I'm moving around a lot. Yep. Okay, Hunter Sniper, that's just Sword and Shield that I've been playing with. Yep. Ah, yes, the, the, the jewel blades. blades this is another like building up meter. Flurry of yeah, demon when you build up the Jesus. meter enough, you can enter demon mode. Oops. Oh, <laughs> that was a demonic barrel. Do the demon mode. Come away. Do I have to activate demon mode first? I probably do. Yeah, you need to build up <gasps> meter to activate demon mode. Why did I attack that thing? I don't know, why did you? Oh, I'm like Moxie from Soul Calibur, I just never stopped attacking. 
Yeah, uh, lots of fast multi hits with the, the dual swords. I don't think this would be my weapon. This. Just kidding. I'm just getting confused by this. Okay. Next! What's it gonna be in there? Uh, Iron Hammer. Well, we kind of went over the hammer already. A little bit. Quickly, just look at the combos there. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, we we briefly touched on this, but the the charge mechanic, uh, the move you do when you release the charge is different depending on whether you're moving or whether you're standing. Okay. So like um like the three combos bottom left, I assume that's not at all close to the total set of moves you have available with all the weapons. Um this this the slide thing is not listed here. <clears throat> well the weapons don't have that many different combos. Okay. Uh, sorry, dog. Uh, there's there's no way I would be able to help to help with that. Mm, can't attack out of a roll. That's another one. See, the the main thing about the hammer is that uh, it's a blunt weapon. So if you hit enemies in the head, you deal knockout damage, and mm. that can stun enemies. Pipe, pipe. The hunting horn can also deal knockout damage because it's also a blunt weapon. But the main thing about the hunting horn is that it's it's kind the of the support weapon of the game because you can, with every time you swing, you play a note, <clears throat> and depending on which attack you do, it's a different note. And there's a bunch of different songs, and there's a and once you have enough notes built up, you can play a song and receive uh, buffs. Wow! Like you can see at the top right, attack up, health boost, etc. Yeah, I think I just did attack up now. <laughs> this is a very silly weapon. Yep. But the buffs can be very powerful. And uh, different hunting horns have different songs that give different buffs. Oh, and the... Uh... This is probably obvious, but the buffs apply to everyone in your party, so it's a very good core. Does it include my cat? I'm actually not sure. It might. Better. I guess that would make sense. Because when you're out on your own, you, you only have your cat for help. I have to say... A little bit disappointed. It does not sound like bagpipes. <laughs> oh yeah, I think all the different hunting horns make different sounds as well. Ooh. Uh, okay. I take it back. It does sound like bagpipes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got a question, chat about PC specs. I'm sorry, I can't reply right now. I'm listening to bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But yeah, uh, this is um, uh, i7 4790K CPU and GTX 1080. And normally I play at 1440p and at everything at highest except for um, uh, this setting here, which I recommend set it off. With those settings, I get roughly 75 average frame rate. I have it. I have the, I have the game locked to 60 right now because uh, that way it looks better for stream. Uh, oh, that's another weapon. There's, there's, there's little weapons. Yep. The weapons. Ah, yes, the lance. The lance is a close range weapon set with so as you make three now. Yeah, as you make with the tail from the massive strike. shield, this is a very defensive weapon. <laughs> But you can do, when you're in like the defensive stance, you can do lots of little like short hops in different directions. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very short hops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think there's also like a running charge you can do with the lance. Uh, 
This one? No. Uh, there we go. No, what well, are I probably have to hold? No? Yeah, no. I think you do. Yeah, I think you have to hold something. I'm confused. What am I doing, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I was. I don't have to hold. I shouldn't hold uh, the guard button. Oh, right. Yeah. I think the, the lance also has a, a counter mechanic with the shield as well. Okay, I like countering. I guess that's yeah. what counter thrust is. So if, the, if I do this while an enemy attacks. Yeah, I think that's right. I thrust. I want to do the endless thrusting combo. That's not. I'm not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think I'm getting some of this input wrong. As a reminder, I'm very bad at this game. Oh yeah, you can't move around fast at all with this weapon. Nope. But then I'm not surprised with how big that shield is. Yeah, David, that that that's basically Valkyrie. It, it, it does actually look a lot like Valkyrie's weapon in video. Next we have the gun lance. What? So this shares a lot of similarities to the lance, except uh, the lance is also the gun lance a gun is a close that range can shoot. That also fires shells. What? Find an opening and down your prey with wyverns. You heard fire. me. What? I don't think there's any ammo to worry about. Well, like I mean, you don't have to like craft ammo, but oh, like Jesus. there is. Oh yeah, that's like the ultimate ranged attack of the gun lances. Wyvern's fire, or Wyvern's fire. What range does this have? Um, I actually don't remember. I haven't spent a ton of time with the gun lance. Do I have to reload? Okay. Yeah, there, there is a reload. I don't know why this is not working anymore. I'm trying to do the big attack, but I've used just this. I think there's a cooldown on the wy Wyvern's Fire. Okay. So you can't just spam it because it's 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 quite strong. But with the normal shots, you can just reload once you run out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I think I like this one. <laughs> oh, okay. It's pretty good. Now, what's next? Uh, sorry, Scunch. I I have, um, haven't been able to test any other hardware. I did watch a stream of someone using a 980, I think it was. So, I don't know what the difference is, is between 980 and 970, but he was able to run the game just fine. I think also, I want to say it was running at like mid settings and had 60-ish frame rate. Also, we're not sure, but we don't think it has ultra wide support. The switch axe has yeah, I don't, I don't think it does. I tried one ultra wide resolution and uh, it gave me pillar boxing. By injecting them with file energy. Ah yes, the switch axe. I can morph. Yeah, I think the switch axe is both an axe and a sword. Yeah, I, if I recall, the switch axe, so you can build up meter in axe mode, and then when you're in sword mode, you drain the meter. And just tap to morph? You can do, but you can also you can also morph in the middle of a combo if you do the right button combo. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah it's a combo into sword mode. Yeah. So yeah, the whole idea is like build meter, 
Switch, use meter. So which mode uses meter again? The sword mode. Okay, so now I can use meter. And when you run out of meter, it'll automatically switch back to axe mode. Oh, I see, I see. So any attacking sword uses meter. Yes, but it does quite a bit of damage. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, how many weapons did the very first monster in the game have? That is a good question. Maybe the internet will be able to tell me. Um, that's fine, uh, David. You can just take breaks from the game whenever you want. I kind of have been doing very little in video the past uh, two months. I've basically done only fishing and nothing else. Charge blade has two forms: sword. Okay, this can also morph. Store up energy in a file, then release it through the axe. Oh wow! Okay, so this sword uh, and shield becomes into uh, an axe. Uh, oh, the charge blade. All right, so the charge blade was newly introduced in Monster Hunter Four. Uh, yes, yes. I'm not too familiar with this, but you can see at the, the top left. There's like these, you have these like little vials below your sharpness meter. Yeah. There's a way to fill those vials, and then when you switch into the, the big, the charge blade mode, you then, you can then expend the energy in those vials. Hmm. Ice nips. Did he join the Discord call? He did. He might not have permission to speak. I, uh. Oh. Um, I just make sure the Discord call didn't ever become too uh, messy. I, I only gave key to like a few people in total. I see. Ah, uh, god, this is a lot of weapons. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> I definitely get the impression that the uh, vanilla weapons, they seem kind of vanilla compared to the more crazy stuff. I feel like the crazy stuff might be the most fun to use. Probably. Hmm. Oh. Alright, so this is another weapon that was introduced in Monster Hunter 4, the Insect Glaive. This is a bit of a weird one. The whole mechanic with this weapon is that you can shoot out an insect at a target, and depending on where you hit the target, you you can build up to one of Gold. three different buffs. Oh yeah, also there's a lot of vaulting with this weapon. I can fly! Yep. I can just fly! You sure can. This is I... by far the most mobile weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You should try firing at the insect. Uh, what's the input for that? Insect mark target, I think that'll be the one. Uh, oh, yeah, LTA marker. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah, your insect grabbed a buff from that barrel, I think. I, I think if you recall it back, the buff will be applied to your weapon. It's all very confusing. Yeah, it is complicated. I just like the flying. <laughs> but yeah, as mentioned in the chat, there's the the different colors of the buffs applied to different things. So white is speed, yellow is stamina, red is attack. Okay, Sniffs, I'll give you a voice. Hold on. Uh, how do I do this thing again? Oh, there we go. We'd love to rejoin. The call. Wait. Beep, boop. Is there text chat? There is text chat. I activated oh. by accident. <laughs> huh. You found it. Nice. How did I do that? Can you do slash dance? I think it's just alt tabbed. I don't know tab how. Tab or alt? What tab or alt? I don't know. I don't know. But there's text, text chat. <laughs> it is confirmed. Enter? No. I don't know. Mm. 
Maybe hmm. if I go through all the controls, but I'll focus on weapons right now. Actually, there might be emotes. I remember seeing emotes. There is definitely emotes. There is so many emotes in Monster Hunter. Although, maybe with no weapon. And there we go. You disagree. Pointing. There is so many good emotes in Monster Hunter. I don't think they're all listed there. Ah, uh, maybe if I customize riddle menu. Uh, oh god. Can I preview them? It would be nice if you could. I don't think I can. Can I? It's a dance one. I'll be uh, disappointed if uh, if there isn't. Oh, um, so maybe thanks, for, more. thanks for the follow, uh, David. Did they follow you? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Twitch? Yeah. Wait, are you streaming too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chain Blitz. Uh, what weapons? Oh, a bowgun. You want to shoot things? The light bow gun is a lightweight range. Okay, okay, this can shoot things. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there's so this is the light bow gun and there's also a heavy bow gun which uh, you move slower with the drawn out but it's a much bigger gun. And yeah, like What? Oh. Uh, hold on. This. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait, wait, there's a thing. Oh, there's a thing. Yeah. This is supposed oh, to happen God. automatically, right. but it doesn't work. I have to do it manually. There we go. Look at my amazing notification. Oh, wow. Aren't you impressed? <laughs> wait. I did it again. A text chat. How? What, what am I doing to do this? I did it again by accident. I don't know. Huh. Um. Okay, so here I can quickly do all the animations, though I have a weapon out. What? Hmm. What, 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 what? I'm kind of curious. No, I'm How curious do you put the too. weapon away again? Space, there we go. No, 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 that's, that's evade. B, 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 there we go. Uh, uh, chat. Okay, I, I can do I this. Is. Insert. I that, that alter tab, but he said it wasn't either. David, subscribe! Well, <gasps> this, you gotta do it. No! <laughs> <laughs> you guys and your money, what are you doing? I'm gonna buy so many pancakes today, holy shit. Ryman, how are you? Doing alright. That's great. You've been playing a lot of Half Life. I've been playing a lot of fan made maps for Half Life 2. Oh, I can sit. Hmm. Very exciting. And uh, you'll never guess what just came out for Warframe, Mr. Snips. Oh? That knight is the luck skin. Oh. With the crossed arms. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe you will. I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll actually play the game because I did want to do that and then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, sadly, I won't be able to play it for a few days. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I posted in my chat that I'm going to be away starting tomorrow and I won't be back till Sunday evening. Okay, oh, no. back to uh, weapon thing. Um, I kind of like this bowgun so far. I think the to use. bow guns did get a bit of an overhaul for world. I remember not really liking them at all. You also need to, to craft like specific armor sets for bow guns in the old games. They were they changed it, wanna... so you don't have to do that anymore. I want to say when I played PSP Monster Hunter that I basically never used anything but swords and shields. I used daggers. I didn't really like, use a bow ring. 
doesn't seem to have many um, different kind of attacks though. It's like maybe, I don't know, maybe it would be a bit repetitive in the long run with this gun. Uh, I think the main thing with the bow gun is that you load in different types of ammo with different effects. Oh, okay. oh, oh yeah, I see bottom right there. I see it being more of like a support thing than a solo player doing it. Hmm. Wait. What's the input for changing ammo type? Uh, oh, there we go. D-pad. Oh. Slicing ammo. Are you in that training area thing? Yeah. Yep. Just trying out all the different weapons. And stuff. There's a lot of them. Normal ammo three. You know, stronger normal ammo. Okay, so there's like uh, three normal ammo. This is very confusing. I guess uh, you can make it better three, not to two times, not three. Times. Mm, they're, they're just different attacks. They work in different ways. I think. I think I think it just does more damage, I th and I think only the weakest normal ammo type is infinite. Hmm. Okay, so I take it back then. You have many different attacks with this weapon. <laughs> There's a few. So it's like this. What? You know uh, my uh, picture of the graffiti thing what? from PUBG. Yeah. I posted it on Reddit, and I have uh, 164 <gasps> upvotes. Oh, the bananas, you're gonna become uh, a Reddit uh, celebrity. <laughs> heavy bogan. Yep. Like light bogan, except heavier. The heavy bogan is a high powered ranged weapon. It does a lot of damage and lets you use more powerful ammo. One guy said that uh, of all the issues the game has, advertising stupid shit really doesn't need to be one of them. I thought that comment was kind of rude. What? Some guy said that advertising stupid shit really doesn't need to be one of the things that's is the issues of the game has. Where are the adverts? I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. I think he's saying how, like, I've showed something the game does which is silly and that I'm advertising it, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I think I have the links turned off, David, for, uh, for stuff in the chat. I'm gonna turn another gun. I should have turned another gun. Actually, I guess I could go through ammo for this one. I think it shares a lot of the same ammo as the light bulb gun. Yeah, yeah. A little bit same, very similar. Oh, there's some different ones. This is very different. Like a mortar thing. Ooh. I like that one. <laughs> Kaboom. Holy shit. I like how because the game isn't released today, it just says Sectors isn't playing anything. <laughs> oh, is that what it shows on Steam? Uh, it just says you're online. Oh, right. On Steam. Like, it, it doesn't even appear in your Steam game inventory listing. So, what you're saying is Capcom actually did the, the work keep it hidden. Yeah. I don't think that was the case with Dragon's Dogma because I remember seeing him booting it up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. B is rapid fire, apparently. Well, we're on the bow now. Huh. So yeah, normal shots of infinite ammo, but there are special coatings you can apply to your arrows and those are limited Ooh. and need to be crafted. That? Right. Hmm. Yep. Did you get the standard edition? Yeah. So I'm the only one so far that I know of that's got the deluxe edition. I don't know if Aqua maybe has. Ooh, what yeah, are you doing? Know. Jump. I mean, the stuff in the deluxe edition didn't seem worth the extra money to me. Yeah. I wanted more stuff. Oh, Aqua did get the deluxe edition. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of. You're still going. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Hello. here now. I've been uh, going through all of the weapons. This is the final weapon. Ah, welcome back. I thank you. I did an attack so powerful earlier it made the game crash. <laughs> With what weapon? The, the katana, a... the longsword. Yeah, the, the longsword. Like he did a leaping attack onto a barrel, and then as he landed, it just crashed. Uh, it Viola. Was an explosion effect. I don't think it exploded. Hmm. A slicey attack I did at the end. 
So, Weird. based on that brief session, which weapon is the yeah, is the is to your liking the most, Mr. Sickness? Uh I probably have to like try them against monsters to really tell. Mm -hmm. Did someone was it with this weapon I could press B to rapid fire? Mm -hmm. I think that's what someone was saying, yeah. I think B is for loading ammo? Yeah, that changes your ammo type, so you change to the rapid fire ammo and then you start firing. Oh, oh, okay. Uh. Okay, so it's not in the in this menu? No, you hit B and you change to a special weapon type. So you had it equipped, but now you need to equip it again. Okay, I think I have it now. See that, like, the blue fence oh. thing? Now it's more oh. yeah. oh. yeah. <laughs> I think that might be a new feature for the heavy bull gun. I don't think that was in the free. And I think that right. recharges over time. Okay. I think you found the turret sequence. I have another question. How do I give this gun to my cat? <laughs> <laughs> Your cat Did will your cat have different weapons you can choose from. I think Snips broke up there. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. I said, do the cats attack stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think I it's like, five uh, different they... weapon types they have. I like all of the animation stuff. Like, I, at one point I saw my kid just uh, stand still and start drinking a little bit. <laughs> um, it I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it crash again. <laughs> it seemed like you were enjoying the insect glaive when you were using that weapon. Yeah, the jumpy thing? I, I I was confused with attacking, but the jumping was fun. Yeah, that's the only weapon I used for the PS4 demo. I loved that, and I thought I would stick with that the whole time, but then I found the bow. Is this like used a that for 200 hours. Giant katana or something? Yep. This was my weapon of choice in Monsters 3. I think there was a similar style weapon in the PS3 version. Probably. I think this is one of the original weapons. People in this. chat are just getting me to get the Generations version of this game now so I can play as a cat. Oh. I want to play yeah. as a cat. Uh, uh, but, yeah. but you would need a 3DS or a Switch to play that game. I'm recognizing the animations. Yeah. yeah. Have you used Spirit Blade used... yet with Red Trigger? There you go, yeah. I think I used this type of weapon a lot of this <laughs> I really like this weapon in Monster Hunter 3, but it's very easy to hit your allies with those <laughs> wide swings. Wait, is there friendly fire? Uh, there's attack reaction, let's say. Oh. And you can't turn it off. And so yeah, you can't damage your allies, but you can interrupt their attacks, which is annoying. Can so, spell doom. Uh, that's a type which made the game uh, crash earlier, but seems to be very rare. Hmm. Huh. And you did it Are just the, now on a barrel again? Uh... Hmm? Did you do it just now on a barrel again? And uh, no, I didn't I didn't I didn't hit a I didn't hit a barrel, but I don't know if mm. it's the barrel which is the thing which matters. Like I did do it again with the barrel earlier and it didn't didn't cause a crush. Um hmm. oh yeah, Sectus. What? Are you uh keeping track of time for reasons? Uh yes. I, I don't think I can zoom for much longer, but I can still zoom a little bit more. Okay. Are the cats following you around new to world? Palicos have been in the series for a while. I mean, I'm I remember... following you around, like in the game world. Um, I think they followed you around in four. I think that was the first game where you could t take a cat with you as a companion, because like Monster Hunter Three had that weird like cha cha thing following you around. So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the cha -cha? wildfire waste. Yeah, it was Shasha like this. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to explain. It's very difficult to explain, Shasha Island. <laughs> yeah, it yes. Is. Are yes, you Shasha, Shasha from Shasha? <laughs> yeah, it was this little, it was this weird little creature. It looked like it was made out of wood. Huh. Huh. Hi, David. I want to shoot something with this uh, gun thing. I want to shoot things. I'm going to puke you them. Will they die? Know your environment. No. Oh, okay. What does the fence mean when it's blue? That means you can use your special ammo. Uh -huh. And then it turns green when like you're ready up and stuff. 
It Why not? turns orange when you start using it. Die! Oh my Jesus Christ, this is great! <laughs> yes! You killed it so Those quick. Poor herbivores. <laughs> yes, yes. I agree. I mean, hey, poor you, everything. You gotta, you gotta get meat somehow. When I played, I haven't played like three or four or anything like that, but in PSP, it would always be like go on a gathering mission and then you could do other stuff. And then once the mission's complete, it'll all like finish. But you can also do other stuff during it. Can you just go anywhere in the world and do whatever? Or do you have to like accept a mission? Um, I think there's this thing called expeditions where you can go out without a time limit. Okay. Well, yes, that's true, but it's Oops. also. Um, if you encounter monsters that you can normally hunt on an expedition, they are kind of on some kind of time limit. Like, they'll leave the world mm -hmm. after a set amount of time. So if you don't kill oh. them within mm -hmm. that time limit, you just lose all all that monster progress. But if you want to do, like, gathering, you just go out and do that. Yeah, you can do that. That's good. Wasn't this a gun where I could do some kind of special attack? Maybe with ammo? On PSP it was silly because I would like, like in the day, choose like a gathering mission for like 10 herbs. And did you just fire a mortar at close range and set it on fire? I think he's that also shooting so birds out of the air as that cluster bomb arcs in the air. Oh wow. But you used up all your cluster ammo. That's fine. so fine. That is so fine. Did you just fire the Lost Plagueis railgun from RE4? I did everything there. <laughs> Okay, I don't have too much time before I have to stop streaming the game. Is there any stuff people want to see tested in the PC version? Anyone in this call? Anyone in chat? I can't think of anything. Can you kill something that's uh, a big boss monster? Mm. Oh, I'm not sure if I have time for You that. have to do it. I killed one uh, big jaguar earlier. Hmm. I'll have to experiment more with weapons to figure out what I prefer using. I definitely don't think Sword and Shield is what I want to stick to. When the game comes out, do you think you'll play it with us? I would prefer to play it co-op than single player. <laughs> the game does really come alive in co-op. Yeah. I'll if play this, with you. If this was single player mm -hmm. only, I'm, uh, 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 I'm not sure if I would stick with the game. It's like it would be a lot more fun in co-op than single player. Yeah, sure. the co-op is what makes it, which is why I was annoyed that a lot of like the, the the story quests and the older games were single player only and you couldn't do them with oh really yeah. the way it works in this one is some of the story quests you have to initiate by yourself until you get to a cutscene and mm. then you can fire that sos flare or oh. okay okay so i think that's what i experienced earlier because I, I i saw a streamer playing and i asked him if we could play co-op and we tried to set it up but we had difficulty. I think it was because we played that kind of mission where you have to start a single player. Huh. I find yeah, that pretty confusing. It's. I don't know why it's handled that way. I don't know why you just can't watch the cutscene together. But yeah, once you get to that point, you can abandon the quest and then restart it from the point where you can join each other. Oh, really? If That's... you want to do it that way. Which won't be so bad on the PC. Oh, what is that thing? That's a pookie pookie. Oh, really? Pookie. <laughs> It pukes acid on you. Poison. Yeah, when I when you get a close look at its face, yeah, I see what it's called. And its tail is a gummy worm. But yeah, you can you can either do it that way or you can just fire the SOS player after the cutscene. You so you don't have to be. Hmm? Is your character